Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. If this is your first time here, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, you know, join the wave. And also press like on my videos, comment, you know, do the do. So today's video is what's on my iPhone. Now I've watched a lot of these videos like for years. So I'm kind of excited to be doing my own. Really excited to be doing this video. So the iPhone that I have is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now I had the 11 before, so it's like a big like difference because this phone is huge, 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 huge. Like I, I don't, this phone is this phone is big and I love it. I have a vlog, my Saturday vlog of me getting going into T-Mobile and getting this phone. So watch that. Let me just be getting into my iPhone real quick. So let's go, let's get into it. So the first thing I have is my lock screen. This is just me in Italy that I took of myself, <laughs> my own photographer. So yeah, this is just me in Italy. So when you unlock the phone, my background here is just a city picture where it's raining. I got this picture from Pinterest. <laughs> so yeah, I wish I wish I would have took a picture like that. Matter of fact, I should take my own picture. You know, one day when it's raining in, in New York City and Manhattan and take a nice little raining picture in Times Square, that would be fire. That would be fire. But yeah, I got this picture from um, Pinterest. On the first line, I have calendar. I have my photos. I'm not even going to open that because that's private. I have the mail app for my emails. I have the clock. Um, I have Facebook. This is just my personal Facebook. So, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Anyway, yeah. So, I have Messenger. Um, I have Instagram. So, yeah. Follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram. Naturally Pretty underscore Brie. Get into it. Um, this is just my YouTube app. Um, yeah, like I said, let me go to my channel. Like I said, um, subscribe. This is my YouTube. So, yeah. Um, I have Snapchat. I don't use that often. I, I don't really don't use it. I might go to it every once in a while, but I honestly don't use it like that. Okay, next thing I have is the this folder called Social. And it just has, like, two of social media platforms that I moderately use. Like, Twitter um if you want to follow me on twitter you can that there it is twitter i ain't gonna lie twitter be popping sometimes like you can show more on twitter than you can on instagram so i ain't gonna lie twitter be popping sometimes then i got tiktok i'm gonna put my tiktok here um i'm trying to get on that tiktok wave i'm trying but yeah i got this i got settings i got bills manager now this app that's my bills there it just notifies me when a bill is due and i pay it <laughs> and it just shows all my bills how much they are and it shows you know what my monthly bills are you know every month stuff like that it just keeps me on top of my bills so i really like that app um and then i have this folder called editing and then I have SoundCloud. I use for some music sometimes. Um, I have iMovie to edit my videos. I have Canva to make stuff, make my thumbnails. I make different things in Canva. I have this app called Fonto. I use it. I make, make little text in my videos. So I, I love to use that app. And then I got the YouTube Studio app. Um, when you do YouTube, that is the app you use to check, you know, on your videos, your analytics, and stuff like that. The next app I have is the Weather Channel app. And then the next app I have is a folder and it's called Bills. Advantage app I use for, you know, my to pay my pay a loan. To pay a loan that I have. Um, I have Great Lakes to pay a student loan that I have. And then I have the Geico app, that's just my car insurance. Um, I have the Affirm app. I did use it to pay a bill but the bill's paid off, so I should probably delete that app. <laughs> so then I have another uh, bill, like loan bill app called 
uplift i don't know it, it's it's actually a web page it's not even the app it's actually a web page i just so i could press on it and it goes straight to the web page so yeah i use that to you know pay off loans too <laughs> so then i have another folder called money and this is just my i use chase my chase app i have Citibank, and then the next one is bank of america then i have paypal and then I have Valiant Mobile. It's basically for my job so I can see my pay stubs and stuff like that. And then I have the Capital One uh, for my Capital One credit card. Then I have Cash App. I don't really even use Cash App like that. That's the funny part. Like, I have Cash App. I think I have this app just in case, like, if someone's only form of payment is Cash App. So I have the app just in case. But I, I don't even really use it to exchange money i usually use zelle which is in the banking any bank that you use has zelle so i usually use that i don't use cash app. and with these cash app tag scams please stop hitting me up your scams is not gonna work on me I'm, I'm really tired of that anywho back to the video okay i have another app called paypal here it's basically when you have a business you can use it as a form of payment. I actually have the little PayPal thing where you can swipe your card. So that's why I have that. And then I have the Square app. I have a little payment Square thing. Again, if you if someone wants to pay me with their card and it goes straight to this app. Then I got PayPal Business. I guess, I think this app is to check how your business is doing or something. Or you can get money for your business. Something like that. I'm not, I'm not that sure. I want to start a business. So that's why I have these apps. But, you know, I have these apps when i start my business so yeah so then i have this folder called entertainment and i have pandora i love pandora especially when i'm in the car pandora is the one when you in the car you jamming you hook that phone up to your cars your car speaker listen pandora be having the jams like i don't even listen to the music in my phone when i'm in the car i only do pandora so i love this app <laughs> then i got the hulu app to watch tv i have the netflix app then i have the mtv app because i watch shows on mtv so i got that then i have this app called imdb tv i i watch judge judy the new episodes of judge judy on that app um, fun fact about me, I love Judge Judy. <laughs> so the next app I have, I call it the miscellaneous folder. So I have the app store, I have the notes app, I have the reminders app. When I tell you notes app is the go app, I have so much things in my notes app. Like you wouldn't believe. Like it's so this notes app is so handy. Like it's probably this app this notes app is probably used. No, matter of fact, the reminders app, the next app, reminders. I think this app is my most used app. More than Instagram, more than anything. Like I always need reminding of something. So I'm always going to this app. Like this app is essential for me. This reminders app. Then I have a grocery list app. <laughs> this is just my grocery this is app I use for my grocery list I love it because you could just um check it and then you know it's checked off when you got the item in your cart well in your cart in the supermarket so I really like this app so this is my current as you can see shopping list so yeah I gotta get to that soon I hate food shopping anywho then I have the citizen app basically Shows you the crime going on in the area. Sometimes this app stresses me out. Yeah. Um. Then I have the Alarmy app. I love this app. This is my go-to app. This is my probably my second most used app because I use it five times a week to wake up for work. And what I really like about this app is it will not stop ringing till you do an activity such as a math problem, exercise. It does different activities. I'm not doing all that. I do the barcode. My baby wipes in the bathroom is the barcode that I need to scan so it can stop. So it makes you get up to stop the sound. That's why I love this app. Then I got the Amazon Photos app. That's basically so the there can be like a, a slideshow on my TV of my pictures or any picture you want. So then you add your photos to this app and then it'll come to your TV. When, you're, when your TV's idle, a slideshow comes up of my pictures. Then I have the T-Mobile Tuesdays app. You get deals because of being a T-Mobile customer. You get deals. So that's why I got that app. 
I got the WhatsApp. Everybody know what WhatsApp is. Every Caribbean parent uses WhatsApp. I don't know why, but they do. Even though y'all live here and y'all got my phone number, you could just text me on my in my text messaging. But y'all wanna write me on WhatsApp. That's neither here nor there. Then I got the Apple support app to for when I need support from Apple. Uh, I got the fitness um, app because I have Apple Watch. I got the watch app for my Apple Watch. I got the wallet, keeps your cards in it so you can do Apple Pay. And tickets, show tickets, I always add to my Apple wallet, to, to the wallet. I add plane tickets to the wallet too because it just makes it easier just to tap your phone when you get to the place. Then I got the Amazon, uh, if I say her name, she's gonna light up. I got the Amazon Alexa app. Oh, she didn't light up. Oh, good, okay. Yeah, that's just for Alexi. Yeah, she didn't light up, good. So I got this um, other app called Global Suite. It's basically like, like a little plugin. I showed it in a previous video. This is basically a plugin and I use it to plug in my Christmas tree so it can be on a timer on when the lights come on and when it goes off. Then I got the Anthem app. This is the app I use to buy movie tickets. The next folder, I call it MTA. And then because I take the Metropolitan Transportation Authority in New York City, which sucks. It's just a transit system for New York City. Like I said, it sucks, it's horrible, I hate it. So this app is just to that. So then I got the My MTA app that tells me I can actually open this. This tells me the train times that the train is coming. I use that app every day too. Then I got the NYC bus time to tell me the time the bus is coming. Then I got the Long Island Railroad app just to tell me what time the Long Island Railroad train is coming. Then I got the MTA e-tickets app. And I use that to buy the ticket for the Long Island Railroad. Then I got this NYC subway app that just, just the map of the train system. You never know when you might need this. So I always have this app. It tells you all the train system, so I don't have to be looking for it. So that's that. Then I got the New Jersey Transit app. I don't even know why I have this app. I don't even live in Jersey and I don't even go to Jersey. So why I have this app, I do not know. I need to delete it. <laughs> So the next folder I have, damn, I got a lot of folders. Oh my God. So the next folder I have, um, it's just my travel folder. So then I have my Google Maps here. Then I got my Airbnb app. I, I miss Airbnb. Let's just, uh, let's just be honest. I miss Airbnb when I go on trips. So, you know, this app is essential for me. Then I got this app called Sky Scanner. What is this app for again? I forgot. <laughs> Oh, what's this app for again? I guess to search discounts on flights, I guess, and hotels. Yeah. Then I got the Hopper app. That just shows you when's the best time to like fly and stuff. You know, what's the on season, off season, how much it'll cost and stuff like that. That's why I have this app. Then I got the Expedia app. We know what Expedia app is for. I've used this a lot to travel. So then I got the American Airlines app for American Airlines. <laughs> I got the JetBlue app for JetBlue. I got the um, Delta app for Delta. Um, you will not catch me on a United Airlines. I ain't gonna have the app and I'm not flying United Airlines. I, I'm not with y'all. I hate United Airlines. They lose luggages. I passed out on American Airlines. Did wasn't there a story that they killed like they they let an animal die under the plane or something because they didn't store the animal right or something? United Airlines, I ain't messing with y'all. Y'all got too many problems. Y'all y'all on the le level of Spirit Airlines to me. I ain't messing with y'all. I ain't messing with y'all. Okay. <laughs> next then the next app i have is the currency app i use this app to um to convert when i go to another country so yeah it just converts for you i use this app it's essential for me when i travel when i went to dominican republic toronto italy jamaica i've used this app <laughs> to, to convert it's 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 a lifesaver and it doesn't need no internet it doesn't need 
Wi-Fi. You just go to the app and it converts for you, as you can see. And, I, and you can actually delete all these and have what you want. Like, um, let me delete these now because I don't even use none of this. Like, when I was in Italy, I had it just like this for um, USD and then the Euros. I had it just like this. So, whenever I needed to convert something, I knew how much it was. So, it was great. It worked for me. So, what's over here? Oh, and then I have this Carnival Cruise app because I do plan to go to a cruise soon. So, I have this app, you know, so I can look at it. <laughs> I love cruises. Fun fact about me, another fun fact, I love cruises. I've only been to one cruise and I loved it. I want to go on, I like, I can't wait to go on another one. I love cruises. I do. That makes me happy. <laughs> so, next one I have, I call it Shop. And this is just like shopping stuff. So I have Rakuten. I use that to get cash back when I um, purchase something. You can look it up when I when you purchase something. When whatever you're buying, go through Rakuten app and buy it, and then you get cash back for it. So you basically get paid to shop on things you're gonna shop for anyway, but you're gonna get paid for it. So that's what I use that for. I use this app called Receipt Haul. Let me go to the Rakuten just to show you guys. This is how much, you know, check I could get. Twenty two fifty four soon. My next on February 15th. Yeah, this is Rakuten. It got every store that you can use. I got the Receipt Hog app. I use this to take pictures of my receipts. And it gives you, like, coins. And then you get cash back and stuff like that. Then I got this app called Fetch Rewards. And I use it to take pictures of receipt also. And you get like rewards and you get money off in stores. Like I can get a $10. Right now I think I can get a $10. Um, What do you call it? See, I got a $10 gift card for Amazon. I got a $10 gift card for... Uh, I'm about to say Subway. Starbucks. I got a $10 gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. CV, like, and you see how many points I got? Listen. <laughs> Anything to save that acquaintance. To take pictures of your receipt. Of things I naturally buy and get coins and points from that turns into money get on it get on it then i got the walmart app for walmart <laughs> then i got the target app for target i got amazon i got ebay i got this app called shop i'm not going to open it because it's going to show like information i use this app to like when i buy something because it's linked to my email it automatically goes to the shop app and it'll show like everything like my packages like when they gives me notifications when my packages is coming where it's at if it's out for delivery so i really like this app then i got the h m app and then i got the this honey app where it gives you um coupon codes and the coupon codes for when you shop online and the coupon codes be working so then i got this app called packages and that's for UPS, FedEx, USPS. Self-explanatory, because I'm always ordering stuff. I need to stay off the internet. Then I got this app called Productivity. So I have my Google Drive here. I got my Google Docs, my Dropbox, um, Files, the app that comes with the iPhone, and this Translate app. So if I ever need to translate something, I just go to that app. It comes with the iPhone too. So the next page are my, you know, least used apps. So I got this food folder. I got Chick-fil-A. I got McDonald's. I don't even know why I got the McDonald's app because I don't even eat McDonald's like that. Oh no, I know why. Because I like McGriddles from McDonald's. I love the sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. <laughs> That's the goat right there. And I just buy it through the app or I scan the code so I can get the little points. Yeah, I got 9,650 points. So I get the little points to get money off something else so yeah that's why i got the mcdonald's app i got the shake shack app so because shake shack i ain't going lie, i don't eat shake shack that often but when i do i like to do it to order on the app because the wait time is so long when i could just order it and then wait a little bit and then go pick it up because the wait time in shake shack be too much so i like to order ahead of time that's why i have this app so then i got the burger king app um i got the domino's app and then i got the Dunkin' donuts app Dunkin' Dose is better than Starbucks. Don't argue with me. Anyway, so then I got this photo called Books. And this is for my Audible. I do got books in my Audible. Let me just open it. So, yeah. This is the books I got in my Audible. 
I really like Audible. I, I love that they make this so, you know, it can read to you. It makes life easier. So you can just listen. Then I got the Kindle app. I'm currently reading this book. I'm currently really reading a book. I'm not even going to say what the book is. It's Kindle, self-explanatory books. Then I got this folder called Games. I got Subway Surfers. I played this game for years. I love that game. I haven't been playing it in a while, but when it comes to like a go-to game, it's always Subway Surfers. Then I got Wordscapes. Basically, you make words out of random letters. Um, then I got this folder called Photo Edits. I use this to edit, like you know how you edit your pictures. So I have a photo editor app that I use to edit my thumbnails. I have an Insta Size, you know, to Insta Size your photos for Instagram. Facetune video and epic i haven't used these apps yet so i can't even tell you what it's about but i have it for when i'm ready to see what it's about um yeah so then i have this folder called i don't use which means these are apps i don't use but i have it on here just in case whatever so i have facetime i don't even really need that because you just go to the phone and fix Anyway, um, I got the find my iPhone, get the camera, calculator, voice memos. I actually have voice memos on here. Um, then I got this app called Gumroad. It's basically like I have a, a tutorial, a dance tutorial on here. I like to dance, so I got a dance tutorial on here. Um, I got the reports app. Basically shows you who's following you, who's not, who's unfollowed you, who's blocked you, stuff like that. Then I have this to-do list app. And it just, I use this app when I'm traveling so I don't forget nothing. Nothing. Like, I will forget things. So I use that app, make sure I don't forget nothing. Then I got Pinterest. Everybody knows what Pinterest is. I got this app called Clips. I actually don't know what this app is. Um, It was actually already on the phone when I got this phone. Um, I just didn't delete it because I went to see what it was about, but I haven't seen what it's about, but Clips comes with the iPhone. And then I have this app called Vivid Seats. This app I use to get tickets, like NBA tickets, concert tickets. I have a wrestling event coming up in two months, so I bought it from here also. So I use it this to go to events. At the bottom, you know the bottom, I got the phone, I got... This app, this app I use to listen to music. This is all my music. All my music. And the list keeps going. I got a lot of music. So I use this app to listen to music. I refuse to pay $10 a month for Apple. What's it called? Apple Music. For Apple Music. I refuse to pay $10 a month for Apple Music. No, thank you. No, thank you. I get my music for free because of this get my music for free look at all that music look at all that music endless supply of music <laughs> that i download straight to here apple music yeah i ain't taking my ten dollars and if you pay ten dollars a month for apple music that's good for you but not my coinage not my coinage and i'm getting my music for free and i get albums la 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 wait let me go to the top right here this is albums all these blue folders this is albums so I could get albums. I these are currently my favorite albums right now that I you know currently have on my phone. But yeah, but all the rest of this songs, songs for free. Apple Music, don't play with me. Um, yeah. Next is I got Safari, and then the next thing I have is my messages for text messages. So yeah, that's basically what's on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making this video. Like I said, subscribe 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 get it together get in here just subscribe it like i said it takes a second it's free i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next bye